without much further ado, here we go. We're going to carry on from where we left off last week. And it says, describe the accommodation. Let's get a nice blue here. The accommodation of the eye for distant vision. Now, accommodating means that your eye will move from a nice round little lens for near vision. And it changes shape to a nice long flatter lens for far or distant vision. And this changing from for near vision, which is closer than six meters, to distant vision, which is further than six meters, so this is six meters plus, and this is less than six meters, okay, is the changing of the shape of the lens because it changes the refractive power of the lens, of the light image that comes in and the way the light rays uh, are on the lens, okay? So the rounder it is, the more refraction. The flatter it is, the less refraction, so the less the light will be bent. So when we talk about accommodation of the eye for distant vision, we're going to be looking at a nice long flat lens. Now, please make sure that you learn this because they are either going to ask you distant vision or near vision in an exam, okay? If you're gonna get it in some question. And if you know the one and you learn the one, the other one is exactly the opposite. So let's look at answering this question for distant vision. So the first thing you're going to have is that the ciliary muscles that hold that lens, the ciliary muscles relax and pull backwards. Okay? When they do that, your sus Pensory ligaments. Now remember, ligaments don't stretch, hey? Eh? Your suspensory ligaments that are attached here all the way around to the lens, those suspensory ligaments are going to become tight. So suspensory ligaments tighten. Or you can say they become taut. Taut means tight, okay? What happens then? Tension on the lens increases. Because remember, these ligaments now start to pull the lens. So tension on the lens increases and the lens becomes... Um, less convex and flatter. Just like here in this diagram, the lens becomes less convex, so rounder, and it becomes flatter. Now when that happens, light rays are therefore less re Fractured means bent and are focused onto the yellow spot on the retina as or producing. A clear image because remember your yellow spot is your focal point okay now I said to you that you can change this around so let's do it in green when it is for near vision okay the ciliary muscles contract so it's the opposite and they pull forwards the suspensory ligaments slacken, okay? Tension on the lens decreases, and the lens becomes more convex and 
rounder. You see what I mean by everything being opposite? The light rays are therefore more, because it's rounder, more refracted and are focused onto the yellow spot of the retina and producing a clear image. Okay, so if you know the one, you will, for distant vision or for near vision, you can learn either. The other is exactly the opposite and it's easy to write down and get full marks for. I mean, how easy is that? Five marks in the bag. Okay, people, let's just check if there are any more questions. No, that was the last one. All right.